Kent, we are at the top of the world, 10,000 feet above sea level, and behind my left shoulder is what? The Eisenhower Tunnel. And we've got the brand new Ike Gauntlet HD because, check it out, the 2015 GMC Denali 3500 with the Duramax. And that can only mean one thing, the Ike Gauntlet HD coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. Check it out, we're hauling honey. All right, it used to be a honey container, now it's got water. The max payload of this truck is 4,200 pounds, and we've got 2,400 pounds of water in the back, and that combined with the trailer. Okay, and inside the trailer, we have three water totes. Total weight of this trailer with the water is 12,000 pounds. You combine that with what's on the truck, the 2,400 pounds, 650 for people and cargo, we're at 15,000 pounds total payload weight towing with this Denali. came out of the Eisenhower Tunnel for the Icontlet HD <laughs> downhill descent. Now, GM says that one of the things that's unique about this truck is their new engine braking. So we've got it engaged and uh, we've got a... a grade shifted twice there. Yep, grade shifted twice. And we've got a little uh, trailer ahead of us that's blocking our way, but how's it feeling? Is your foot off good. the brake? Yeah. yeah, I'm off the brake. I'm trying to let the exhaust brake do its job. You know what's remarkable? Look, look how quiet this is. Oh yes, this you, you, you would know this was a diesel unless you you know slowed way down and wrapped it up. But on the highway, you don't know, you don't hear it. Compared to the Cummins and the Ram, <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh, that is uh, you feel like a real trucker, right? You hear oh, that? Sure. And it's dramatically quieter than it was in 2002, but it's still you, you feel you actually feel a vibration from that engine. GM started this on the light duty trucks and now it's on the heavy duty trucks. I'm talking about the soft open gate, look at that, voila, and of course perhaps the most handy feature, this step, which lets you get in and get at the honey water <laughs> very easily without a lot of fuss and bother. How's the performance on uh, the brake? Are you feeling Are you feeling like you don't need to actually touch the truck's brake? Yes, I, I really am impressed with this. They've done such a good job by starting back in 2011. This is such a safe feel to it. It controls you. You don't think you're going to look for a runaway ramp, but you know it. Uh, very impressive. And this is the one you know, they always brag about. You can go coast to coast just using your cruise control, and it would control everything, and it basically does. It gives you a lot of confidence pulling the bigger trailers. We're pulling 12,000 pounds, total weight of 15,000 with cargo and people. So it's uh, it's doing its job. We're right at the maximum uh, payload on this, and we're missing. A lot of the payload, which is our man, Nathan, <laughs> who, by the way, is in Beijing for the uh, auto show there. So he's missing out on this very first I call it HD run. 2011, when all these diesel pickup trucks had to start using diesel exhaust fluid, except for Ram, which they use it now, uh, GM first put their tank underneath the truck below the frame, which is kind of unusual, but their fill tank is right here under the hood. This is where you've got to get to it. Now, when all we used was jugs, that was fine. You had to get a funnel, put your jug up there, and, and fill it slowly, because there's all these little bins in there to keep it from freezing. The, uh, the urea, the diesel exhaust fluid. And what Ram and Ford have done, they put it in your fuel door. So you have an extra little cap there, because the island, the fuel islands now have nozzles to put DEF fluid in from uh, where you're filling the fuel. And that's nice when you're pumping on five gallons at a time and you're trying to get it done quickly, but taking a two and a half gallon jug up here and holding it for five minutes while it drains in there is kind of a pain. This truck is amazing for that. It's a 
quietest truck on the market, and I think now it's the most comfortable. I've always complained about GM. Their steering wheel had a little bit of an angle toward the door. Their seat angled a little bit toward the door. And they did all that before they had tilt wheel. They thought that would make it easier to get in the truck. Well, now we have tilt, and this one has telescoping wheel, too, uh, with two lever one. And actually, this has got the best range I've seen of the telescoping wheel. But that seat configuration before always made me a little off kilter, and I never really liked it. I maybe the only one noticed it. But on this truck, uh, the seats are a little, a little more straight in line, parallel with the walls, and the steering wheel still tilts a little. But this memory foam that they put in here, I can sit in this thing and get so comfortable. You put that with how you can adjust the wheels, the power pedals, and the brake and the gas, and you can't get more comfortable than you can in this truck. It is indeed a very comfortable truck, and we're coming to the bottom, so Andre's going to measure the temperature on both the front, the rear, and of course the trailer brake. So let's find out what that is right now. Смотри, 160. Ah, oh, 161. That's light. We're doing good. На трейлере, смотри. 83. Doesn't seem like there's anything we can do to make those brakes heat up back there. Нет. That's seven game. Oh well. If you're a fan of the Duramax, well, you'll love this engine. It's been under this hood since 2011. It is, of course, the Duramax. It puts out 397 horsepower and 765 pound-foot of torque. It's mated to an Allison six-speed automatic transmission and the gear ratio a 3.73. This should be enough torque and power to take on the new Ike Outlet HD. start of the Ike Gauntlet. Kent, you ready? I've got the stopwatch and here we go. Start right now. Got her floored. I'll oh, feel the power. Feel the power. <laughs> <laughs> Towing 12,000 pounds. We got 15,000 pounds on board so we're doing very well. We're doing very well and this truck is not struggling whatsoever. So far so good. I like the electronic gauge cluster which is something that's unique to the GMC. Can't get that in Silverado, yeah. 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 yeah, that's great. Between the two different screens, you can do anything. Once you figure it all out, there's a lot of places to play. And when you put it in tow haul mode, I noticed it changes uh, some of these gauges to your tow hauling gauges. So we have uh, temperature for uh, water, temperature for oil, of course the fuel gauge. Yeah. I did reset the odometer, so we'll see. I mean, yeah, the odometer, so we'll see our MPG going up the eye gauntlet. Uh, and, and I have it floored, and so far we're not quite at the legal speed limit of 65, but this part of the Ike Gauntlet is relatively easy, it's not too steep. Right. With this 12,000 pound trailer full of those water totes, we're pretty level. We've got everything balanced well. We're not required to use weight distributing hitch on this according to GM. We're under the weight limits. Now this squatted about three inches which was kind of a surprise to me, but that's including the 2,400 pound payload we've got in the bed. So we've got this maxed out right at what the maximum uh, cargo capacity of this truck is, including trailer and payload. I'm really impressed at how uh, easily this truck tows. 765 pound foot of torque is making easy work of the Ike Gauntlet, at least at this point. Right, you're not, you're not taxing anything, it's low RPMs. The only thing that I can say that I'm a little bit hesitant about is uh, maybe it's because we got all that water honey in the back, but the steering feels just a little bit too light. I'd like it to be a little bit more precise. It's feeling like it's like like it's wandering a little bit. Yeah, and we tried to set that weight, the water totes in the back over the axle a little bit farther forward. We might have gone another six inches forward and it might have solved some of that. Because you know you gotta balance all that. Right. The truck, you look at the fender wheels, the truck looks very balanced under pulling this trailer. Everything looks level, so we did a very good job, but you know, that, that steering would probably have been helped by just a little bit more of the weight forward. Compared to the Ford and the Ram, this is by far the most car-like heavy-duty pickup. 
Most everything you touch feels soft. The buttons, the controls have a sense of quality about them. And when you sit behind this, you could swear you're behind the wheel of a car and not behind the wheel of a heavy duty truck with 15,000 pounds behind you. All right, it's getting a little bit steeper now. Uh, the Ike Gauntlet is starting to bite, bite. I've got my foot pedal to the metal, so uh, we're fully floored. And we're doing just about a mile above the legal speed limit, 66. So we're maintaining the speed limit, but not much more. Right, it looks like you're averaging what, 4.1 miles to the gallon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, winning the contest there, but oh well, let's hope. Yes, and we get to pass a big boy uh, trucks right about now. Yes. So yeah, we're keeping up with traffic and we're actually exceeding the speed limit by one mile an hour. So woo! <laughs> All the power. <laughs> All the power in the world. Well, that's nice when you're on these kind of grades with this big load that you can drive the speed limit. I mean, that's what else could you ask out of a truck? By the way, check out MrTruck.com where you'll usually find Kent. It's a very well-researched and a great source for all things truck. Now style-wise, this GMC sort of falls in between the Ram, which is very butch, and the Ford, which is kind of your everyman truck. It's elegant, it's stylish, and of course, it has, I think, the biggest GMC logo on the front of it. You cannot miss the fact that you are driving a GMC truck when you see this in the rearview mirror of your car. Yeah. 65. I'm letting the truck do the shifting. All I have right now is my foot buried in the accelerator and I'm letting the truck do everything else. So it's in yeah. tow haul mode, it's doing it itself. Yeah, at this angle, we're getting close to that 7% grade. You're only pulling whatever that is, 2,500 RPM, so you're not wide open. I mean, this thing would go 70 miles an hour plus if you let it. So what are the hard numbers? The uh, maximum tow rating on a bumper pull is 13,000. We're pulling 12. If it was a gooseneck, we'd go 17,000. 100 maximum payload rating well, that would be people cargo and what's in the bed is uh, and tongue weight is 42 40, 4264 pounds and we're right at that with about uh we've got about 650 in cargo people and cameras and 2350 in water and then you got the tongue weight about another 1200 pounds so we're right at that 4200 pounds so we're we're maximum struck out for what it's rated at the only thing I'm complaining about the front end of this beautiful truck is the air dam. I know this is supposed to be off the Corvette and it does a lot for draft for helping your fuel mileage, but this has an off-road package. And we're level here with the trailer payload and all that on it. So the truck's setting level, so this is up off the ground. If this truck didn't have a trailer on it, that would be down another two inches and you can't go off-roading. I've tried some of that and that, that hits before your tires do. So you may want to take that off if you're serious about off-road. All right, we're coming to the end of the Ike Gauntlet, ladies and gentlemen. And I've got the time right there. It's ticking away, ticking away. I still have yet to lift. And when we get to these uh, traffic lights, right in front of the Eisenhower Tunnel is when I stop the stopwatch and we'll see what the damage is. So, tick, 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 tick. This is about the steepest point of the entire route. No traffic in front of me. We're down to 55 miles an hour. The truck is not downshifted. That's right. The speed limit's 50, so we're actually able to get the speed limit yeah, at here. the peak. At so the peak. Yeah, which that. is really impressive. And here we are coming up to the stoplights, which signify the end of the Ike Gauntlet HD. <laughs> and there we have it. Check it out. 752.55. There you go. That's our record. That's our record. That's the new benchmark for the heavy duty trucks. Very impressive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was actually really good. out of the Johnson Tunnel. <laughs> that joke never gets old. The damage in terms of MPG Kent was uh, 4.0, which is, you know, substantially better than the uh, light duty trucks. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we, you know, we ride in that range of power on the diesel and the gas engines are like wide open. And as a kind of a postscript, I have to say I'm really impressed by how the layout works. There's a lot of power outlets right here. Uh, everything is easy to kind of find at a moment's notice. And I think you used the word that best describes this truck. Sophisticated. Yes, it is. It's, uh, 
it's a truck, you know, a lot of the high-end car buyers, the luxury SUVs would really appreciate refinements of it. Yeah. The quality. You know, the aluminum metal in this thing. It's, just, it's not a, it's not the old plastic we got used to. This is a, yeah. That's, that's I, I, yeah, I interviewed the guys yeah, and they right, told right. me that is aluminum. That's real metal. In Texas, yeah. Just like this is. This is aluminum. Yeah, I could see somebody with... You know, Cimarron horse trailer yeah. uh, that travels across the country feeling right at home. I mean, you would not feel bad getting out of an Escalade or a Mercedes or you name the luxury car into this truck. Right, and you know, the, the comfort of driving it with that great exhaust brake, with the great shifting that works perfect on this, the women who pull trailers, you know, they really appreciate something that this that, that is this easy to handle. I mean, a lot of people are getting used to a new truck with a good trailer and all those things. And this actually, you know, it makes that whole trailering thing easier and, and you feel safer about it. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's certainly, uh, you don't have to be an old-time trucker to be behind the wheel of this pulling. Yeah, but dabba do Pulling uh, honey water. <laughs> <laughs> Kent, we set the bar on the new Icolet HD with this GMC. Now what do we need? We need to get a 2015 Ford Super Duty and a 2015 Ram Heavy Duty. Yeah, we need the Cummins and we need the Power Stroke to compare to the Duramax. And hopefully that'll be coming up this summer on... TheFastLaneTrack.com yeah, See you next time and check out MrTruck.com and of course TFLTruck.com for all your trucking needs all the time. Ciao!